Hey guys, Wally Davidson here, how's it going? The day I want to do a video on Halfords. Halfords is a British company guys. Years ago it used to be called Halfords Professional, but then it was changed to Halfords Advanced, which is what's on that box there, right? So, anyway, let's get this video started, guys. Right, that's my new top box, right? I've got, already got videos on a lot of these tools already on my channel, but I thought I'd just focus on the brand Halfords because a lot of my friends across the pond haven't even heard of them. So, Halford Advance is tools over here that are... Basically, they're warranty need. You've got warranty on them, guys. Lifetime warranty. Halford Advanced. Years ago, it was Halford Professional. I've still got some spanners and that there that's got Halford's Professional on it. See, my life, you break them, as long as you didn't abuse them, you got them warranted. You got them changed. But as I say, nowadays, it's called Halford's Advanced. So if you break a tool without abusing it, you take it in the shop, seemingly they'll replace it. So anyway, let's start. Right, we've got the... Top box, which is the Halfords Advanced box, right? The middle box, now that's the professional box, the top box. The bo middle box and the bottom box is just an ordinary Halfords, okay? So they're just ordinary ones. So your bottom box, there's your bottom box, it's got wheels on it. Some of your mechanics and that are here in workshops and that, that's what they're running. It's like before they upgrade to Snap-on and all that kind of stuff. Quite sturdy boxes. Do the job. Does me. As I say, there's the bottom box. You've got your two big drawers. And then your three smaller ones. Right. Then your middle box. has got your three drawers. Right. The bottom one of the three is slightly deeper than the other two. That's the three drawers that I keep my sockets in that and my socket sets in that that's loose, not in boxes. Okay? And then obviously, your top box. Right. Has anybody noticed something different with this Halfords box that I've ad added to it that when you buy it, you don't get? You noticed yet? Center of the screen, guys. There's a silver handle. What I found when I was using it, it was a bit of a pain to try to get it for to push it to open it. So I says, the first thing to myself is, I'm going to put a handle on that. So that's what I put on it, guys. I put a handle on it. And what a difference it makes. With a handle on it. Okay. Doesn't it? I don't know if that'll affect it. Seemingly this box has got a three year warranty. I've drilled two wee holes in it and put a handle on it. The box will be fine. It's not like I'm going to hate it. It's no damage it in any way. So on the top of it, what I've done was as well, guys, for you boys that have got the Halfords toolboxes, it's an open back with these... Right in the centre of the screen, guys. See the circle? That's where you can run your cable in and through for the back. So you can put sockets in it. This light's no doing you any justice today, guys. My wee light. And then that corner's the same. If I can hold that there. See it here? You can put your cable in through there. And through that circle. The same as that one. What I've done was... Over here, obviously, it's over here in Britain, it's your sockets like that. Kind of in your plugs. Well, that's the actual end of the plug that's plugged in and switched on, right? That goes up and over and across, doing it into the back of the box. Comes in that hole there, right? Comes down to this first one. Now it's black in colour and it's kind of dark, but you can you get the gist of it, guys. That's plugged in, this charger for my silly gun, right? 
So that charger's on green, I can actually switch it off. And Kim, what's handy? I'll come at the light. See the wee plugs? They've actually, they light up, the switches. They light up, guys. That switch there is for, you see that plug there? The one at this side. Three holes. Okay, so I'll switch that one off because that battery's green now. It's charged up. All right. That's that switched off. Uh, I've got two there. I've put two plugs there that I can use. And when you come to this side, it's just the same. One there and one further back. What's plugged into that one is a plug with a USB on it so that I can charge my phone or whatever. So I, I'm gonna end up, I can put USBs in there as well for charging basically, for iPads, computers or whatever, whatever you need. But anyway, that's the Halfords box, the top box. That was the latest thing that I've bought guys. As I say, you'll see in my last video. Um, and that's what I've done to it. I've added the handle, I've put a handle on it and I've put electrics in the top bit and that's where I'm gonna keep. I mean, this isn't the Halfords, but that's where I'm keeping these and they can get charged up and that. Okay, right, so we'll come down. I was going to call it my Halfords drawer. Every single thing, right? Right, it's in this drawer here. We'll start with the screwdrivers. This is what Halford screwdrivers look like, guys, that you can buy. That's just a box. That's just a box, guys. In fact, I'll just do it and show you. Now, there's a video already on this. That's why I didn't want to go into too much depth yet. That box. Now, that's Halfords Advanced, guys. These screwdrivers are warranted. So if you bust them, take them back, they'll replace them, right? You get them in a plastic case and they're no cheap. They're, sorry, they're no dear, I should say. But I'm not saying they're no cheap. I reckon about 20, 30 quid, something like that. And you get the full set. I can't even remember. I've had them for a while. But as I say, just ignore these wee screwdrivers at the front. So what you get in the box is you get your wee... I'll be doing it through this angle. And you can see. Okay. See the wee Phillips. The wee plane. Plane. And then it goes to your... Text sizes. And then you've got your... Flexible flexible extension you can put on okay now a lot of folks saying flexible extension what's that for see this uh, screwdriver here this one guys this is quite new guys it's just never been used much oh try to get it out that's tight that's better Right, in fact, well, hey, we'll just start off with this one, won't we? Right. Halfords Advanced. Right. It's a rubber handle. You get quite a good grip with it. This one, you actually put these in it. Now, you guys are kidding what they are. I didn't hate to go into great detail depth of what they are. As I say. Okay, and you just stick that in there. Try to do it one handed guys, it's no good. Goes in there. Alright. I know that flexible bit does. See that flexible bit there? If you take that out, right. In fact, hey, your own video, we'll just do it. For people that's probably never used one before. Let me set this down guys. And I'll do it this way, right? It's just basically an extension adapter. That goes in there, right? What did I put that wee bit? Right, I'll leave the camera right on top of it, did it? Yeah, let's see. A wee bit there. Shove that in the end of that wee extension bit that plugs into that. Right, and it can actually bend and go in corners and turn it and it'll work. I'm actually turning it, guys, you just can't see that. But 
that's all that wee, that, this wee bit's for, as I say, it's flexy. It's like a flexi. It bends. So you can get in tight spots with it. Okay, right. So, that back in the box. Get this back in the box, guys. This, not, I've done videos on these, eh? That's why I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So if you want to really go, you just can see it for yourself. And I'll put that wee thing back in there. You got all different types of these guys. Right, the wee screwdrivers, your wee stubbies. I'll just leave them in, any much point. You can see what a screwdriver is, eh? That's just a wee stubby, guys. You've got a stubby flat head there. Come over to the yellow ones. Obviously, in the set, the yellow, the yellow ones is for the stars. So that's your stubby. I've got the camera really close. And that's a slightly, the next size up. And that one there. So there's one, two, three of your star screwdrivers and one, two, three of your flatheads. And then your stubbies on top of that. Alright. As I say, it's a, it's a great wee set, guys. I have used them. Not a lot. There's not a lot of wear in them, they're still pretty like new, I keep them clean. And as I say, all your wee ones for like opening up back of radios, wee fidgety sort of small jobs you've got to do. As I say, wee delicate jobs, these ones all day, the smaller ones. Alright, so that's the screwdrivers, right? What have we got next? This one. Right, this is all Halford's spanners that's in here. Right, you actually buy that one in a tray as a set. Just see, I've done a video on it before. There's your sizes. In fact, that's upside down. We'll do it this way. Try to no block the light, guys. So there's... If I hold that there. 8, 9, 10 and an 11. There's your combination sp uh, spanners. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You see that, guys? You see the numbers? No gaps. That's a brilliant wee set. Brilliant wee spe set. Halfords Advanced. Late right there, so you can see it in the green. Better, maybe. Too shiny with that light, eh? Uh, but as I say, what size is that? That's a uh, 19 mil. Halfords Advanced. As I say, and that's the heat, the ring end. And that's your other end, and your thickness. All right. Let's stick it back in the box. Now, mind I was telling you about Halford's Professional. Let's take this one. These are older. This is when they had their, well, I'm saying first name. I only knew them back then, a long time ago, was Halfords Professional. I don't know if they had a name before that. I'm not sure, guys. But, let me lay this down. I'll get this out. This set's actually out the toolbox that I carry with me in the car. As I say, there you go. For the guys, it's never, the younger guys that's buying the Halfords tools, that's never seen it with, Halfords Professional, 18 mil. And as I say, that came out here, I say it as well. One of the big plastic boxes with all the spanners, the ratchets, the screwdrivers, everything in it. But I flung the box away years ago and put all the stuff into a toolbox. I wish I knew I had kept it all in the big box, but that's what it is. Combination spanner, Halfords Professional. So technically, if that was to break, and I went into Halfords and handed them that, they wouldn't be able to give me a, a don't, I didn't think it'd be a Halfords professional spanner, it'd be Halfords advanced to replace it. Which would be a bummer if you were pernickety with your tools and you liked the names all the same, but it, I, they didn't call it that anymore, so you would need to get Halfords advanced, guys. So, as I say, sturdy enough. Sturdy enough for what I use it for, and I, I like the brand, eh? So what's there? 
19, 18, 17, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9 and 8. And three eighths drive Allen key sort of sockets. Halfords. Can you see that? H A L Fords. Alright, you get that as well. You get your wee screwdriver. The thing that you can put the end in. Put a ratchet in that if you want for it. Help you tighten things and slacken things. That's upside down. That's Halfords as well. Yep. Put your bit in the end and you can put uh, sockets on it. I'm sure that came in the box. It doesn't say Halfords on this, guys, but I'm almost positive that that came with it. Obviously, I don't think they're warranted. You break them. They're cheap enough. You just replace them. Eh? But you can put that on your belt. I can go on a belt, guys, which is quite handy. That's got all your wee bits and that on it. I've had that for years as well. Alright. This here, a lot of your sparkies would say that. They're pish. They do the job. For the handyman and that, as I say, this is well used, this set. And that's just Halfords. Um, wire cutters and snips. Again, it's quite a multifunctional tool, eh? But hey, we've all used a set. Everybody's bought sometimes at one point, even when you were younger, had a set of them in it, and that's what you used, eh? Yep. It was. So, right, let's move down to sockets, guys. Then my other drawers have got stuff in that, eh? But as I say, I'm only going to talk about Halfords today, guys. Because a lot of my pals and that, they've, no, they've never heard of Halfords before. Especially if they're no fair in this country. And as I say, I like Halfords, and that's the tools I buy. As I say, there's the ratchets. Uh, at this side here, I've got a 3 8 Can your, your barry. It says Halfords on it. Well, bring it down. Halfords Advanced. It's upside down, guys, but breaker bar. Yeah, aye, that's the word I was trying to think of. It's your 3 eighths breaker bar, this thing, right? And uh, I've got one of them, right? That's maybe about a foot and a half long, guys. About a foot and a half long. I'll show you my other one, which is up there. I'm just going to shut the box down. See what, see what I've done to the ceiling? See them? They're for, see your plastic conduit pipes for running pipes through along walls and that, or guys, along anywhere. That was too long for to fit in my toolbox, guys. So, I just put it on the ceiling. Aye, uh, look. Right, look. It's too big. That's the breaker bar, the bigger one, eh? Great breaker bar. It's fantastic. Halfords Advanced. See it again? So, if that gets busted, I think, to be honest with you, see the pin and the heat that's on it, you can actually buy that. It's only £6. But, if you put that for Halfords and it's got warranty on it, you just go to the shop. Again, as long as it's, you've not run over it and bent it with an Arctic or whatever, eh? They'll change it. They'll get a new one. And that's what the boy said when I asked him about his warranty. He says, I, as long as you've not went super kill with it, as in there big chunks of the, the frame and that, that we can see that you've really abused it, we'll replace it for you. So that's my two breaker bars, right? And, ah, they're quite new still. Looking. Now, Halfords. a good ratchet I like it 72 tooth I'm sure all of them ratchets in there are 72 tooth apart from now I've done videos on all them remember apart from this one now a lot of you some of you might have never seen one of these before that's for Halfords I can tell you how much that was when I bought it there's the light 
there's a light there, Alfords. This was £16. £16, and it's a, a gearless ratchet. See, when you turn that, there's no noise. No noise, guys. And it'll tighten that way. And when you try to pull it back, as you hear the ratchet noise, you get no noise off of this. And for that, it's for in tighter spaces. So that as soon as you just hear the slightest bit of movement, so if you're in a tight space, it's tightening or it's slackening with being gearless. If you're waiting on it click and come back to get a click, sometimes you've got a wee bit of rotation before it does that. With this, it doesn't. As soon as you move it, you're tightening or you're slackening. So that's a gearless ratchet. As I say, them I've gotten the three sizes you get half inch, three eighths, and quarter. The wee ends a quarter. That one. I got in the three eighths. That's quite a common size that I'm using all the time. This one here. Well, yeah, you can see for yourself. I've, guys, I've done videos on it. I didn't want to go into too much yap about it. As I say, but this is Halfords as well. Try to get it in the light for you, see. What does that say? Aye, Halford's advanced, guys. How close do I need to go? Run the light. Halford's advanced. Right, so I got the three eights of that, right? And I got the smaller yin. I'll call it the stubby. The stubby three eights flex head. That's Halford's advanced as well, guys. As I say, great wee hounds. No way to put this in the magnets, guys. Canon, the flex. Ah, they're all right. They're all right, guys. And this one here, that's just a wee quarter one. You just slide that there. Alright, hey guys, does the job. And the day, the day the job, what I paid for to get them to do. Right, so that's my ratchets, right? And my bars. And that magnetic tray there, as I said, up the top box, you seen that I had these. You get them with screwdriver bits and all that on them, eh? You see, they go to the 3 eights. I actually got these. And I use them with my silly uh, gun. And then some sockets down there. All the way along. All the way along. I'll take this bad boy out. And I'll show you it. Oh, Furts. One and a quarter. And that shows you inside it. The thickness. If you're into that kind of thing, and into the, the side there, the thickness. Again, it's, it's alright. Their sockets are alright, guys. That's a 30 millimeter. Again. Then you've got your bars there, your extension bars. Again, your different sizes. So see, there it's all half Halfords. He'll lot it. All these sockets, they're all Halfords. Right, all of them. Didn't hear different sizes. I'm not going to go through them individually, guys. You can what sockets are. What I do want to show you though is, Wally, why do you have spanners in there? These spanners, actually, I'm going to show you. Let me widen the suit a wee bit. Right. These spanners are there for a reason. I'm going to start off with the wee one, right? Now, as you can see, in ratchet spanner, it's a 10 mil, right? 10 mil ratchet spanner. Halfords advanced. 
I can't really see if you can see that on the camera the way I've got the phone. But anyway, I bought these spanners, right, to go with these little things. These clip through there. I've done a video on this so you can look into it. That's on the spanner and guess what? You've got a mini ratchet. You have a mini ratchet, guys. Look at the size of that. You think how tight a space you could get in with that? Again, here's my wee sockets. I don't need to put a socket on it. I'll put that on it. It's really a socket. Back. It's really a socket. It's for in tight areas. Clip that one. Right. You press the button, T. It's just... I'm put, I put this on it so it's easier for to show you. Press the button in and it falls off. It's on. Holds it on. Press the button. Falls off. Right. What size of socket is that? Just to a curiosity. Put a wee one on just to show you. Oh, they're going to come off. The reels. Yeah, that's good. That one's tight. That one took a dive, guys. That one did take a dive. It just about flew out the door. Right, small socket. Right. Press the button in. And she's on. And there you go. And that's what that's for. Okay. Brilliant thing. Press the button, do that, take it out, put it in the other way, put it back on, and that'll go the other direction, guys. See, this spanner doesn't have a direction button on it. You've got to take it out and put it in the other way to go the other way. But it doesn't matter. It's still, look at the size of the area. You'll be able to get that in. You wouldn't get a ratchet and a big socket in. So, that's why I bought these three spanners. To go with... The three of them. As I say, the three of them, guys. I've got the quarter one. The quarter one. Half inch. And three eighths. So there's three of them, right? That can do that. With the three spanners. And I just keep them... I just keep them together. I could clip it in and leave it in at A, but... There's a wee rubber washer around it, eh? And I'm not going to clip it in and just leave it in, in case it knackers through time, the rubber washer. Okay? So that's why, as I say, I've got them. But the old Halfords, these wee things, I don't know if they were advanced. I can't mind. You'd need to go and check the video that I put up to see if they were lifetime warranty or just if it says just Halford. Hang on. What does it say? No, I just say socket adapter, spanner. See it? I'm just trying to get it out of the light. Okay. But as I say, they're great wee things. Great wee things. And the last thing I'm going to show you in here, guys, because this video's getting too long, is these. These are fantastic. In a wee case, impact sockets. Well, as I say, I've done a video on them as well. But Halfords. Okay. Look at it. Life, can you see that? Lifetime guarantee. So that must be advanced. Ah, it is. Look. Halfords advanced. Lifetime guarantee. Beat the crap out of them, guys. No way a hammer though. And use your impact sockets. If you're 10, hang on, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, what's that up to the light? 15, 16, 17. 18, aye, and 19. There's no brakes there, guys. No brakes there. And I'll be honest with you, the sockets are actually alright. 
No use these yet. But they're alright guys. And they're not that bad price wise as well. That's a 19 mil. Even says on it. Halfords advanced. So, lifetime guarantee with them guys. A lot of guys on the YouTube now are telling that a lot of your tool companies they're not giving you lifetime guarantees anymore and that, but Halford stands by their by their guns, eh? And uh, you get if you get your lifetime guarantee. And that's it. Basically guys. So that's Halfords. As I say. Halfords tools. I like Halfords tools. Shut the door. And that's basically it. As I say, I put that handle on there, eh? And I thought it looked alright. I had different types of handles to put on it. But I liked that handle. I'll try to put the light down a bit. Because it was a sort of rectangular shape, if you can what I mean, to go with the chrome on the handles to sort of make it kinda kinda look no out of place, if you can what I mean. And uh, I was thinking of doing a spanner and drawing two holes in it and <laughs> can hang it like an old can black spanner that you could but no that turned out alright guys right 31 minutes guys into this as I say that's Halford's Tools a wee chat with them if you liked the video guys hit that thumbs up subscribe if you've no guys because there's more videos coming up on tools Um, if you've got Halford's Tools and you're out here obviously put some comments up what you think of them be honest on it. as I say I'm only I'm only telling you how I've had mine and what I thought of them. As I say, folk could probably turn around and say, well, I tried and doing this and the crap. Well, it is, I've never done that kind of heavy gear or whatever that, like, you're doing. And as I say, that's what your snap-on guys know that's for, eh? Your heavier branded stuff. But for what I do, these are perfect. And the box, the box is perfect. It's big enough. Have I said, it doesn't matter what size of toolbox you get. The tool companies will keep firing tools at you and they'll just fill it so you hate you got another one. That's why they put them in tool trays. Because the tool trays that you buy them in, when you put them in your box, see the amount of room that it can use up that it doesn't need to. It's unbelievable. But anyway, enough chat. Right guys, we'll get you on the next one. Everybody be safe out there and I'll catch you later. Bye now.